Hello. We are going to compare between these two numbers. We have 2 power 234 against 5 power 100. We are going to find out which of these is the bigger number. So, let's start with this particular one here. So, let's copy out the first number here. We have 2 power 234. I have 2 power 2. 3, 4, and this equals, I can express this as 2 to the power of 2, 3, 4 is the same thing as 3 times 78. And from here, I can simply have it as 2 to the power of 3 times, instead of writing 78, I can have it as 77 plus 1. So from here, I can simply hack it as 2 to the power of, this is 3 times 77. Then I also have this 3 times 1 that is plus 3. So from here, I can then apply this index law if you have a power n plus m. This equals a power n times a power m. So I can apply this right here. That means I'm going to have 2 to the power of this is 3 times 77 times 2 to the power of 3. You just apply this identity right here. Now, from here, I can simply have it as 2 to the power of 3 times 77, I can express it as 11 times 7. So 11 times 7 is 77 times 3, I have it. Then I have times 2 to the power of 3. Now, I can decide to multiply this out. 3 times 11, that is 33. So this will give me 2 to the power of 33 times 7. And I have times 2 to the power of 3. So from here, I can apply this other identity. If you have a power n times n. So this equals a power m all to the power of n. So I apply that identity here. That means I'm going to have 2 to the power of 7, raised to the power of 33, times 2 to the power of 3. So remember, this is our A, this is our N and M, just like this. So the M is now inside, so that is just it. Using this identity, we have the M here and the N outside. So from here, I can simply have 2 power 7, 2 power 7 is 2 times 2 times 2 into 7 places, and that will give you 128. So you have 128 raised to the power of 33 times 2 to the power of 3. So let's stop this one here. Save it. Now let's concentrate on the second number, which is 5 power 100, this one here. So I have 5 power 100. Then from here, I'm going to have it as 5 to the power of 100. I can express it as 99 plus 1. Then I apply this identity. A power n plus n equals a power n times a power n. So this will give me 5 power 
99 times 5 power 1, which is the same thing as 5. So from there, I can also have this as 5 to the power of 99 is simply 3 times 33. Then we have times 5. So from here, I can apply this identity. Remember, if you have a power n times n, this equals a power n or to the power of n. So, you can apply this identity right here. That means this is our n and this is our m, just like what we did earlier on. So, this will simply give us 5 to the power of 3. And this is raised to the power of 33. So, times 5. So, this can be our n and this is our n. Because we are pushing the 33 outside and the 3 inside. So, that is it. So, we need to find the value of 5 power 3. That is 5 times 5 times 5. That will give us 1. 25 to the power of 33 times 5. So we stop this one here because the exponent here is the same as the exponent right here. So let's copy out this one. So this is 128 power 33 times 2 power 3. So you have face source, this is 128 to the power of 33 times 2 to the power of 3. And don't forget the fact that 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So this is just like writing 128 power 33 times 8. So we are comparing this with this other one here. So this is just like writing 125 power 33 times 5. So we are comparing these two. 125, 128. 125 is smaller than 128. 33, 33. They are the same. This is times 5 and this is times 8. 5 is smaller than 8. So in all ramifications, you agree with that this is smaller than, it's less than this other one here. That means you can all see that 1 to 5 power 33 times 5 is less than 1 to 8 power 33 times 8. So from here, we can then draw a conclusion that 2 power 2, 3, 4, which is this. 2 power 2, 3, 4 gave us 128 power 33 times 8 is greater than 5 power 100. It was 5 power 100 that gave us 125 power 33 times 5. So the bigger number is 2 power 2, 3, 4. So that one there is obviously greater than the 5 power 100. So this becomes the greater number. And we have achieved this without a calculator. That is it. Thank you. And goodbye.